Dear Mr. Gonzalez, it was estimated in the year 2011, 2,140 new cases of male breast cancer were diagnosed. Also, it was estimated that 450 males died from breast cancer. Have you checked for breast cancer recently? Really? Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Come on, bro! If you didn't know by now, it's National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And the year 2011 marks its 25th year. Things that should have clued you in. You see a lot more pink ribbons places. It's all over the NFL. Little kids are wearing I Love Boobies bracelets. And the Panera Bread Company has brought back the Cherry Vanilla Pink Ribbon Breast Cancer Bagel. So good. I'm all about supporting breasts and getting rid of the cancer that afflicts them. But what concerns me are the other parts of the body that are left to hang, literally and figuratively. In my personal opinion, testicles are just as, if not more, important than breasts. In scientific terms, if it wasn't for testicles, you wouldn't have breasts. I get it. No one's going to make a I love balls t-shirt. I think you'd be hard pressed to market testicular cancer bagels. Well, maybe in San Fran. The best that we can do are those ones you see hanging on the back of trucks. I mean, we're not totally out of the game. We get a week. April 1st to April 7th is Testicular Cancer Awareness Week, which isn't technically fair, because the 1st of April is April Fool's Day. In the year 2011, there was an estimated 9,000 new cases of testicular cancer and an estimated 350 deaths. That's 700 testicles, gone! And think of who those testicles could have made. The next Martin Luther King, possibly Mother Teresa. Steve Jobs. Testicles are 100% procreation, while breasts are 90% recreation and 10% feed your crying ass kid. And I hate to say it, but even for feeding, you still got bottles and a formula. And maybe we get the shaft because breasts are beautiful and testicles are, golly. Even doing a self exam, this is nowhere nearly as bad as not even gonna do it. Which brings me to another underrated cancer, prostate cancer. It's 2011, and the preferred method of checking prostates is still sticking things up bros' butts? Fact. In 2011, an estimated 240,000 new cases of prostate cancer were diagnosed. Of those 240, there was an estimated 34,000 deaths. That's right up there at breast cancer, at 39,000 deaths. I mean, this is like a no-brainer. Prostate should at least get a month, if not a couple weeks of awareness. I personally don't want to lose the satisfaction I get from a nice, strong flow. Please, anybody, raise your hand if you want blood in your urine. And Viagra, Cialis, extends no way. In summation, National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I fully support you. Cancer's a terrible thing that we could all do without. Let's not blow our proverbial load just on breasts. Let's share some of the wealth with the testicles and the prostate. Because let's be honest, it's not going to matter how nice your boobies look if I have to pop some pills to get her done. Come on, bros! All joking aside, please visit www.cancer.org to learn about cancer and find out how you can help yourself and those people in need.